people think. <laughs> you still ate a whole layer of cake. Yeah, you, I like the cake. <laughs> I, I didn't realize it was a birthday cake. It, in my defense, I didn't eat none of the burgers or sliders or nothing. It was just the cake. I just wish you there. came. You came. You <laughs> all the food. We had pizza, sliders, everything. You was like, nah, the fattest shit. Kim, Kim turned into Bill Cosby. I like the cake. <laughs> I like the cake. <laughs> Did anyone cut it for you? Or you were like, I'm gonna just cut this piece off of myself. No, he took the whole tier. The whole top tier. Onto my plate. The whole top tier. What did you think that was? Off. Like, what did, you just thought there was a, a cake on display? And, oh, I'm gonna help myself. I have never been to a birthday party where someone's cake was pineapple upside down cake. It's always sheet cake. But either way, it's That's a- That's how you classified I, it? <laughs> I just thought it was separate from the other food. Like, oh yeah, this is for the cake, man. Y'all go ahead. But even still, Kev, why didn't you just take a little piece? Why would you take the whole top tier? Top tier is small. I, I want y'all to understand it was not equally sized. It was like a saucer. Kev was like, no, this is an appetizer cake. This isn't, this is, this has never Man, been a, a full birthday cake. <laughs> that hurt me so bad. After analysis. Mm -hmm. Hey, can we try something really quickly? Uh, can you guys go to uh, your audio settings? Mm-hmm. And then uh, go to advanced. Where is audio setting? Is it under? Is it under the Zoom thing? It's next to mute on your mic. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that that uh, once you go to audio settings, go into audio, and then uh, disable suppre suppress uh, persistent background noise, and then disable the second one suppress intermittent background noise. I don't have all those options. It's yeah, only I mean, advanced. Andrew, you got to click on it. Oh, and thank you. I missed it. Yeah, you advanced, said, right. oh, advanced. Just the first two. Just put those on disable. Because Zoom does this weird thing where you mute. Each other. Whatever. Yeah, it's really weird. And we just started using apps that doesn't do that. And it's like, it's it's kind of hard to go back after you do. Because it's oh, like. Hey, wait, so disable, disable persistent and disable the intermittent? Yeah, it's still not going to really like solve the problem, but it'll help. It'll be okay. Nothing. Did you already do it, Meg? Because you, your audio came through way clear right there. Yeah, I just somebody, did. damn, somebody needs somebody. To oh no, it's me. It's because I have a, a a heavy duty mic and it's gonna pick up everything. Hold oh, on. Oh, so do I. Yeah. So Wait, whoever, I do too. But I, did you put yours on the third one, Angel? On the Angel, Angel, you be having a lot of white noise on your zooms. I was always wondering. I know, and I can't. It's this. I gotta figure out which one to put it it's on. It's the it's the third one with the circle. It's only a. Uh -huh. You hear the difference? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Boom. Boom. All right. We're good to go. Hey, thank you for introducing us to Angel. She's way funnier than you and also more fun. I will agree. I have no, I'm not going to lie about that. That's why I introduced her. All right. So let's just make Angel come in and then replace Meg. No. I'm your scoop. <laughs> I'm by me. Good luck getting yourself on air because you don't know how to produce. Ooh. Yikes. Boom. I produced them children. Close the door. And That's they, the easiest they thing to do it. ever. I ain't really had nothing. My mind was searching for a comeback. I was like, maybe just take Produce it. them children. <laughs> just, just take the L, man. You don't always have to win. And he said that right as Angel's looking at one of her kids. Close the door. <laughs> Close right it. They daddy. They walk right past their daddy to ask me questions. I'm like, leave me alone. You're, because your mommy. Is your mom back the day off. The house? No, she get back uh, at the end of the month. Okay. Wait. Oh, shit. Why is everybody Good luck, girl. You got all them kids just between you and your husband. Oh, Lord, I got one. I'd be like, somebody help. Somebody come get these kids. Man, in the midst of everything going on, I have a friend who, actually like three friends who parents just You got should turn your mic up. Over. Huh? You're, you're quieter than everybody. For me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I can't turn it up. I don't know how to turn it up. I just... Um, maybe talk around your little tooth. Maybe we can hear better. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. <Meg. laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh! Talk around it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! All right, Kevin. Here's teeth. Oh, that was a funny visual of him. Like, all right, let me just. How how would I do this? Hello, it's my little tooth. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey guys. How was that? Is that better? You just put on headphones. That's not how <laughs> audio works. <laughs> the, headphones, the headphones have a microphone in them, Patrick. You're going to have to change oh, your, your uh, settings to it. 
That's your teleprompter headphone? Oh, my <laughs> God. You're selling you vacuums? Know. All right, fine. I'll just go. Powder? <laughs> Does that work? I don't know how to change the settings. You, uh, beside the micro, the, beside the mute microphone, you could have changed it to the headphone um, microphone. Um, your computer auto perform. So, so if, you plug, if you plug your headphones back in, it should give you that as an option. No, I, 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 know, what you, I know what you're saying. I, I know what you're saying, Angel. I was just trying to see how do I turn it up. He was saying turn it up on the regular mic. I'm like, how do you do that? You, it's in the same thing. You hit audio and it, there's audio an setting for your mic up. Oh, Which okay. Mic hooked up. Up. Whatever you're using as your mic needs to be hooked up. Oh, stick. See here, we can see all the lights in your glasses. A word? That's what's up. I mean, this is it. Is that better? Is that better? Testing, testing. Is that better? No, you're just talking louder. <laughs> is that better? <laughs> is that better? No, I'm, How's I'm, this? I'm is the microphone the louder now? No, that's you. You're just louder. How to talk louder? I don't know why mine's would be the. The Somebody's color. background noise is really like. It's gotta be mine. Let me yeah, let me do regular. It's gotta be me. I'm you almost should? certain. There's no way it can't be me. Hold on, turn, mute your mic really quick on the button. Oh yeah, it is. Oh you. yeah, that's her. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Angel's reporter from an airport. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just turn that vacuum off in the background? I know. <laughs> it's so bad. I can't, and I don't know why. It's a Yeti. It's supposed to be good, but I think it's my computer is just loud. All right, well, whatever, Mike. Yeah, that compact. Is. Is, that your, is that your computer? <laughs> compact for Sario. Compact. Listen, I know. Like, it's so that. frustrated. This is it's this this. I'm using the, this mic on here. Okay. okay. Right. Uh, how do I sound now, guys? Better. All right. Well, that that's what's gonna be. Cool. We yeah, we said better. <laughs> <laughs> Why you? All right. Well, that's what it's gonna be then. No, we, we, it sounds good. All right. Well, I don't care. I'm still doing it. <laughs> I think the here is just used to being angry in his responses. Yeah. Like, hey man, that's a nice shirt. Man, shut up. I'm sick. Wait, nice shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he has comebacks just queued up. <laughs> You sound great. Well, I don't care. We're going anyways. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. And y'all know what's crazy is that, like, with, the, with everybody wearing a mask and tensions being so high, because I can't see the lower half of people's face, when they look at me, I don't know what they think thinking, so I immediately take offense. Like, <laughs> I had to give the old school a jump the other day, so I pulled the other car in front of it, and I'm, I'm connecting the jumper cables, and this guy came out. And stood on his porch and he just looked right but he had on a mask and i looked at him i was like can i help you fam is that something you need and, like, I am. <laughs> he just looked, he was like and just walked back in the house but it was just like tension to him and i couldn't see what i didn't know if he was like like that or he was like and i just was like i just went i went to the assumed ladder. sneer i just went to the ladder man this is a lot a lot of stress a lot of tension right now so i just you went <laughs> full east st louis to here you can't go full east st man <laughs> Especially in this neighborhood. Mm -mm. Right. You know, one the biggest thing that I noticed from everybody wearing masks is that, like, when somebody's kind of, like, ugly, it's all in the lower half of their face. <laughs> mm -hmm. A mask is, like, completely, like, every... I, like, when you're out with a big crowd of people, like, everybody's just up here. So it's, like... Oh, that is true. I'm right here with it. Hey. Everybody decent looking. And then somebody's just like, what'd you say? And you're like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, when Scorpion takes off his mask, you're like, oh, you just ain't got no face right there. OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the bottom half. To hear your mic sounds a little distorted. It's a little too. Stop talking through it. Talk Shut around up. it. That's his it's aluminum just a little tooth. Distorted. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want you to aggressively get at me, but it was just a slight <laughs> distortion. You distorted. <laughs> All right, let me try. Actually, that's a lot better. This is, is it? Uh, yeah. This is, is not okay? tech with all deaf, guys. That Do sounds better, yeah. Yeah. OK. Well, I'll just leave the headphones off. We've been started, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. We started uh, right around the time when Kev was admitting to eating my cake. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> leave that in here. Oh, how, how, how long do I have to pay for the sin? Forever. That was so long ago. That no, was because hard. when I was four years old, Jamie Jones ate the first slice of my cake at my Burger King birthday party, and I still remember it to this day. Wow, Jamie you Jones. You know her first and last name? Jamie yeah, Jones. All yes, of it. Jamie, I'm calling you out. In Kentucky? <laughs> Not in yes, Radcliffe, Jamie. Kentucky. In Radcliffe. In Radcliffe? Who gave at it? At my to Burger you? King birthday party. Cut it herself or a dog gave it to her? No, I th I don't even remember. I think it was like cut and she was like, mm, like her hands were out there first. Like, oh, give me the plate. You were like, I don't know who gave it to her. four year old. <laughs> <laughs> so you were Radcliffe four? spelled with a T. Is it Radcliffe or Radcliffe? Rad. He has a dog. Yeah, a D. <laughs> so mad about Angel. Did you go to an HBCU? No. Mm -mm. I went, went to University of Kentucky. Oh, oh y'all both went? Yeah, yeah. That's how we know each other. Yeah. Are you her her older lion sister? Yeah, I'm her older sorority sister. Oh, did you haze oh, her? You're a year before her or, or multiple years? I'm two years, I think. Am I two years before you, Meg? Oh, yeah, because I was, well, I graduated 05. When'd you cross? Oh, 05. I crossed in 05, too. Oh, okay, uh, was, yeah. Two lines ahead of her. What was about Meg behind her back at y'all school? Like, ugh. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I took care of everything at school. I did, I was on Apollo. Remember Apollo Angel? I ran Apollo for three yeah. years in a row. Angel, I was on. Uh, of course, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Black Student yeah. Union. I was on on that for a long time. I did a Meg, lot. Of Meg's stuff. nickname was Joy Killer. <laughs> <laughs> Big sister Joy Killer. That's on her jacket. <laughs> This is Joy Killer. Killing all the joy. She mm. was the only one who didn't really know what it meant. She was like, Joy Killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, that's what, was, what was Sorority Meg like? I was already here by the time Meg crossed, so oh, yeah. I didn't know what Sorority Meg was like. Oh. Yeah, I was gone. I was I was out of there. So I found out Meg had pledged after I left. Cause yeah, I would have gotten that ass if I was there. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> but that I wasn't. Mean? That's an interesting phrase. <laughs> oh man, I mean. if I was there, oh <laughs> boy, you don't even want to know what happened to you, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's in, in the context of a sorority, I don't know what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that I would have kept Meg on her P's and Q's. Meg would have been even more of a Meg. I would have like, loved to see someone else keep Meg on her P's and Q's. <laughs> no, y'all know what my, guess what my line name is. What? Red Inquiry, because I asked him oh, questions. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is, I, I'm just really glad that you've always been who you are. They felt the same way. They the felt the exact same It'd be way. be like, you get one more question. What is it? One oh, more question today. I don't want to. You know when you're crossing, uh, you be having to memorize a lot of information. So I know people crossing with Meg was like, what, what was the year uh, of the establishment? What was uh, number three? What was this? I got to know Meg had all that junk memorized early. Uh, actually, my number seven was what? She has a photographic memory, so I was relying on her. What number were you, Meg? Ten. Man, y'all had, how many people crossed? Ten, I'm the tail. Oh. You're the so wait, wait. Is the the tail is the anchor, right? No. The, yeah, oh. the tail is typically, just the last typically. person. Yeah. The okay. anchor is whoever was the like rock of the line. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Meg, so you want the anchor? No, I don't think we do. We have an anchor. She has shoulders know. like an anchor. Shut up. I don't. I don't think anybody. We, we just had a Meg daughter joking along. We just stopped doing that one yeah, day. Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Hello. Let's bring that back. I'm confused though. You guys like, you guys all took a number on the way in, like a deli. No, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> like a no, deli. Why y'all? Why y'all all have numbers? Well, usually they give you because they don't say your name. So usually every line, whether it's sorority fraternity, you get um, a number based on height. Some some lines are reversed. So the shortest one has the biggest number, and the tallest one has the lowest number. But usually, the, it, it's from shortest to tallest. I asked the wrong question. What's a line? Let's start there. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's your crazy mom. Let's back up. You know what? Back up. Now, this college. No, no, no Angel, hold on. Angel, the worst part. College. 
the worst part of this angel is that his dad is in a fraternity. Uh, huh? Patrick, uh, were you born in Germany? Like I am. <laughs> I'm just Pat, slightly confused. Germany. That was Pat, Pat went to uh, ITT Tech for architecture, and he and didn't have out. any. Yeah, he had no experience with a uh, black culture so there you go i wow. went to cal state northridge which is semi-respectable cal then, state northridge was like three minutes from my own house and then yeah. i went I, and i went to the musicians institute for a year which was oh. very respectable but i got kicked out so okay wait we didn't talk about this why'd you get kicked out pat admin <laughs> admin <laughs> you had a more vague answer Kyle. <laughs> 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 No admin. What Next, does Patrick, what, what a line is, please, so he can learn about Black community. A line is is the group of people that are together for that semester, crossing that fraternity or sorority. So lines can be one person, or they can be like a hundred and something. However uh, big, how, yeah, they can range. Because what happens, right, Meg and Angel, if I'm not mistaken, a certain amount of group of people try to cross and they all don't cross, right? Um, it just depends. It does depend. Like if if you're doing it by the rules, everybody who starts will finish. Really? <laughs> yes. The way listen, lawsuits are real these days. That oh, yeah. when, my, when Mel was at Spellman, they had to take some sororities offline because of hazing. The AKAs oh. were off for like three years when she was mm -hmm. at Spellman because they was they was doing some stuff. What were they doing? Some stuff. Hazing. They were, they were hazing. Physical hazing. Hazing is supposed to be outlawed. I don't know if it really is or not. But I know it people is. get killed all the time, right? No, I mean, not all, all the time. All the time. Like, Pat. People have died, but it, it, I wouldn't say yeah. all the time. No, it's not all the time. But um, it is illegal. You can lose your full degree, not just your letters. Like Oh, really? Well, yeah, yeah, I would hope. Yeah, you can lose your degree. Um, so it's less prominent. It does still happen, uh, but it's less prominent. So there's less of a chance that you're going to take on 10 and then only seven cross. I didn't know girls hazed. I, I always heard about fraternities getting bu uh, busted. Man, sororities worse than the guys. Yeah, sometimes. Sororities. Pat, wait, have you never seen Drumline or School Days? Yes, I know what fraternities and sororities are. I just so didn't know. How do you not know what a line is? They had lines they, in it. The drum line was about, line? nigga, their line was a drum line. So no, that was the, the fraternity. There was a, the band fraternity in there. In I, the defense, I don't remember much about the, the fraternity line of drum line. I just remember. That was the, one of the boys that was drumming. Jason, or what, Jason that, Weaver. Yeah, Jason yeah. Weaver and they, he was like always elusive. And they found out it's because he was on line. He was. On pledging the band fraternity. That was yeah. like a C story in that movie, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually you said I was like, I totally was like, Jason Weaver was in that movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what, though? Yeah. Jason Weaver has a career. One of the smartest things Jason Weaver ever did, I think uh, Disney tried to offer him like 90K flat mm -hmm. out for his Lion King uh, money. Like Mm -hmm. And yeah, and his mom was like, no, son, royalties. He was like, bro, no Lion King royalties are cash out. He said he's made so much money. If he never did nothing else, he was like, the Lion King royalties are worth more than enough. He wow. gets cashed yeah. out, bro. Just That's why you need your black mom to help you. And you got to be thinking long term. Uh, but anyway, Jason Weaver has done a lot in his career. He was yes. with Simba and Michael Jackson. Yeah. True. That's two big roles in my community in my life. I was those were Simba and Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson, bro. The young Michael Jackson, Jackson Five American Dream. Yeah. He mm -hmm. had all the best parts. That's a good resume. I yeah. was Simba and Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> It's pretty solid. That's Wait, solid what was that it. team show he was on to? What show was that? Uh, smart guy. Was he on smart guy? Yeah. Yeah. He was a brother. He was Teddy, he was in ATL. Or was yeah. it sister? No, was it Smart Guy or Sister Sisters? No, it was Smart Guy. Oh, it's Smart Guy. You're smart right. Guy. It was Smart Guy. guy. Yeah. He didn't sing as Simba, did he? Oh, yeah. 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 Really? Really? Well, I'll be That's the main cool. event like no king was before. I'm just sitting up, I'm looking down, I'm working, I'm working on, on my wall. wall. <laughs> yeah. Now that you sing it right now, I guess it's not that difficult of a vocal song. <laughs> 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 I mean, that is on one a day. <laughs> From the Lion King, I still remember the first time I saw that, and I was like, nah, they don't ever kill nobody in no Disney movies. 
And then they killed Mufasa. I was like, oh, oh, well. What are you talking about? They killed somebody just about in every Disney movie. Yeah, somebody Disney already oh. dark. Disney, Not Pocahontas. Also, everybody, some Who? Who died yeah. in Pocahontas? Isn't that her dad or some, some people yeah. in the tribe? Also, right? Pocahontas was about a full-on pedophile relationship. Yo, so. the true story behind that, Disney was like, uh, we'll just switch up some we'll things. I, I, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, they what? they switched their age from like thirteen. They're like eh, eighteen. Yeah, <laughs> like who whose man's is this, bro? I was like, man, John Smith was on that crime. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, who else? But in the context of everything else that's happened, like that's pretty believable. They were all like murdering that whole. It's not oh, like they were good people, bro. You know? Right. Yeah. You like can never let the people doing the history write the history books. They're like, man, I was a great guy. I helped the <laughs> Indians. I gave them, they was like, I gave them smallpox. He was like, I gave them blankets. Right. Right. They were blankets full of smallpox. Don't nobody need to know the truth. Put the period. Delete <laughs> <laughs> really? those other words and put the period. <laughs> that is funny. I, I feel like Colum- Columbus himself had like a lot to do with rewriting that. Like, oh, I feel like absolutely. he was over somebody's sure. shoulder. Like, yeah, don't put that part. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, there was a lot of stuff I questioned. And I remember being like, how did he discover America if people were already there? They're like, man, shut up and put the right answer down. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> let's, let's, take, let's take that part out. Let's focus more on the ships. They need to know the meaning of the pizza <laughs> right. Santa Maria. Bro, right. the dog on the meaning of the pizza of Santa Maria. What about the genocide? Right. <laughs> well, like, I, here's I the thing, though. When have you ever, on any application in life, needed to know the Nina and the Pink to the Santa Maria? Like, ever in life. That was just ever. a useless fact. <laughs> and you <laughs> crazy how to memorize, because it kind of goes together. Yeah. yeah. What's crazy yeah. is that they took all of that, and somebody was just like, erase all that and put had turkey together. Like, where did that, <laughs> right. where did that even come from? <laughs> I don't even think there were wild turkeys in that area. Oh, my God. <laughs> had dinner. Different. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a great opening, guys. I think this is a good point to jump right into the first topic of the day. And we're going to do that right after this. Hey, what's up, guys? This is T. Here more, and I want to let you know that this episode of Squadcast is sponsored in part by Blue Chew. Fellas, listen to me. Are you listening? You're listening with your eyes and your ears because that's where it counts. Listen to me. As we get older, things change. Everybody knows that, right? It's something you can do about that. If you want to get that magic back where it really counts, you need to look at the good folks at Blue Chew because they bring you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, okay? Now, what does that mean? What does that mean, really? That means that you can take this bad boy anytime, day or night, even on a full stomach. When you're ready to get the magic popping, you can make it happen. And because it's chewable, it means it starts working up to twice as fast as a pill. Blue Chew has online licensed physicians. That means you don't have to go back to the doctor's office. You can do everything online. It comes to your door in a discreet package. Package. No more waiting at the pharmacy all day. People looking all over your shoulders and it's made in the USA and it ships directly to you. That's important. That means because it ships directly to you, doesn't have to go to a pharmacy. It's going to be cheaper than going to a pharmacy. People, it doesn't get any better than that. Or does it? It does. It definitely does. Because for all my listeners right now, I'm going to hook you up with your first order completely for free. That's right. Your first order of Blue Chew is on the house. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. What you should do right now, but not right now, but right now, go to BlueChew.com and use the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and you're going to get that first order for free. And all you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. Again, that's B-L-U-E Chew.com. Use the promo code SQUAD and you're welcome. $5 for shipping and they'll be at your door. Hmm. I should do this for a living. All right. So today the first topic is anal fisting or anal beads. I would say beads is uh, not as messy. You know, we're, we're not yeah, doing that. Beads. We're, we're not. <laughs> we're not doing that at all. We we just said we're not doing. All right, guys. Uh, first topic of the day is <laughs> free gas for life or free groceries for life. Oh, the fact oh, it I thought covered. it was free sex or free gas. <laughs> <laughs> What is happening with you today? Something's happening over at that household. That's a good. That's a good one too. Free sex or free gas? Which one you taking? (laughs) I might take gas at this point. 
<laughs> but, <laughs> but all right, let's do the real one. Sorry. Okay, free groceries or free gas? Mm-hmm. Probably like three. Yeah, groceries. I, I, I feel like to me, it ain't even a question. Groceries. Right. I ain't got to go nowhere. I'll just sit here and eat. <laughs> or Uber when you do have to go somewhere. Yeah, this is a weird question now because we on curfew. So right. what, what, what you going to have free gas for? My Our gas bill for the, the month might be $80. Well, I mean, that, that's still a lot. But I'll, take yourself out of this situation. Let's put it back in like the regular world when it's open and operating. Wait, are you saying free gas like the gas you put in a car or free gas like utility at your house? I was, I was thinking like gas, Good. like the gas that you put in your car. Okay. Man, you ain't never been a full mother before that. Were you thinking about <laughs> utility bills? <laughs> right. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought it was a car, but then the way Pat said it, I was like, wait, did I miss something? No, oh, that was very mom-like. That was <laughs> wild. <laughs> I even forgot that was <laughs> yeah. like, utility? It's still going to be food. I'm telling you, when I was younger, it felt like it was always much harder to come up with gas money. You could you could go over to somebody's house for food. I used to go to Melissa's house. Her mom always had food. She she let me use her college uh, card. But when you ain't had no gas money, there's just really not much you can do. You know, you can come up you can come up on some food. You ain't it's easier up to mooch food gas. than gas. <laughs> it really we is. To, we used to go out to Applebee's like, oh man, I'm gonna get something. Uh, let me just get here this mm. water. When you ain't got no gas, you just be like, shoot, you can't even but get wait a free minute. food. But Kev, let's be honest. How many times you driving like? Post COVID, how many times you driving versus Ubering? Oh, listen, driving for me is a thing of the past, and that okay, is so everywhere. Thing. You don't need gas. I right. don't really. I haven't been driving. Listen, all those years of spending three three hours minimum on the road going to all deaf has traumatized me. Mm -hmm. I don't is, be one way. Driving. No, one and a half hours there and oh, one and a half God. hours back, and yeah. that was on a like a cool day. Fridays maybe was two and a half hours, but Wednesday? Oh my God. Wednesday could be, what? Wednesday in LA, everyone's going to work. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everyone, Monday you might not be back from something, Friday people be gone, but Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, yes. two hours going easy. Two and a half? Two and a half, two hours was a good Wednesday. Two and a half was common. I would drop my kids off at 7.30 <gasps> uh, at school, and I would get to all death at 10. 10 15. That's a road trip. Uh, <laughs> Every day. <laughs> I used to think about That's that. Like, bro, if I get to Washington, I would be driving from Seattle to Portland. I could be in Portland by now. Oh, and damn. I would just be on the, yeah, Seattle to Portland is about two and a half hours. And I would just still be on the four or five. So after I quit all death, I didn't drive for a long time. I feel that. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. A road trip. And on a each rainy way. day? If it rained mm. in LA? Oh, my oh, God. For oh, terrible. Man. Bro, terrible. you. These it's, people act like they have never seen water come from the sky, which I don't understand because LA's full of transplants. No, Bro. because people don't because it, it doesn't rain often. So people forget that their windshield wipers are not good or they didn't know they weren't good. And so they end up going a lot. People slower. are just trash drivers out here. That's what it is, Andrew. Let's keep, let's keep it let's keep it all the way to book. trash. Absolutely. Yeah, they're don't trash. we say that about every city? Because everywhere yeah. I live, I've said that people can't drive here. Yeah. I've never been in this city. Like, oh, the drivers here are pretty good. <laughs> here's but the here's thing. a whole new thing. Go ahead, so here, sorry. Here's the thing, like in New York, those drivers are erratic as hell, but mm -hmm. they know they know how to maneuver through the city. Like everybody drives the way. Right? Yeah, 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 they 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 are actually pretty good drivers. LA, people be breaking for a curb in the highway. Oh, oh, it's literally just going, bro. I've been in traffic for so long, like an hour, hour and a half. And I'm like, man, it, it had to be a pile up. It's got to be three, four cars flipped over. You get over there and you see that the traffic just slowed down because it was a bend in the road. I was like, I'm I'm finna kill somebody. I'm finna run my car <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> on the other side of traffic and I'm gonna destroy people. Here's on its edge, though. There's nothing worse than traffic bunching up and it just end up being nothing. No accident. Nothing. No arms or legs on the freeway. It was just people just got in traffic. It, but admit it. Admit it. If there was something, if it was an accident. When you way back, you'd be like, man, what the hell? Stop being nosy. But then when it's you, you'd be slowing down and looking. Oh, around. yeah, 100%. You'd be like, I wonder if people are looking. Oh, this, wow, that is, that car. I, I, don't, I don't look. I don't, I don't look. I still be like, focus on the road because I got somewhere to be. But I will put my phone up to the window so Come I can on. record it and I'll watch record it later. It. 
I watch okay, it. Okay, that's way that's more. That's what I do. That's, that's even more dangerous. I, just, I don't have to take my eyes. I don't have to take my eyes off the road. I just, I just hold, hold the phone up like this, and I'm like, ooh. Wow. You know, later while I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> this guy right. here really said, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do video record. I'm going to do this. And that I don't have to do that. Fun. I don't have to do that, Cam. Boom. You know, you know that the, 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 the camera button is right there. You just press that. Boom. While I'm driving done. Now I got the camera going. We good. Boom. And then Boom. he posts it and then he watches it when he on his own post. <laughs> he watches this shit on his own Twitter. <laughs> in Seattle, they used to drive good in the rain. In LA, it'd be also you had LA, no choice though. No, no, for sure, it rained every time. Mm -hmm. LA city streets are not prepared for heavy rainfall either. At all. So yeah. there'll be there be water bunched up everywhere. It, it's every time it rains in LA, it's like the first time it's ever rained in LA. I mm -hmm. have an ignorant Seattle question. Like, obviously, if you're if you've never been to Seattle, it's all rain hype. So like. How accurate is that? Is it raining 24 seven, seven days a week? Or is it just like, damn, it's raining a lot this week? Here's what I will tell you. And this is no exaggeration. I lived there for 13 years. Out of 365 days in a year, it probably rains 300 days, Ooh. right? But here's the thing. It is really? not a lot of rain. It is, it is just overcast. So you'll actually, the amount of rainfall will be higher in like Miami in Seattle mm. because when it rains in Miami it just rains hard real hard real fast you'll be in go to the movie come out it will look like it never rained Seattle will just be gray and dreary mm. and very little rain drops like it very like, rarely rains hard so when I was in college it rained for 40 days straight up like bible we didn't see the sun for 40 days it was just gray Damn. overcast mm. so from when the time you wake up to the time you go to bed it looks the exact same outside. Pressing. But how was, the, how, how was the temperature outside? Because if it's, it's great, but it's still like a good temperature, I'm like, ah, I might be able to push through. But if it's just, just a little too cold. Uh, mm. Like what? Just 60, a little too, like 61, 58, 40, 49. Oh, like it's, like you have to put a jacket on. People in Seattle really don't. We didn't use a lot of umbrellas at the time, except for like black women. It was like, it was like, oh, you know, we're Seattleites. We don't use umbrellas. You know, it's going to be, you have to be taking an umbrella everywhere. I'm from so Seattle. for real, people we walking like that with just a hoodie on. Uh, it's actually worse to just be gray outside than to just rain hard and be over. Really? Yes, bro. But when it did rain, was it a lot or was it just like Very a rarely. Very rarely a lot of rain. Very rarely heavy rainfall. Almost about to rain almost all the time. But then, that sounds August, terrible. Oh, it's the worst. August 13 first, years? How did you do 13 years there? You know what to hear? The crazy thing is you get used to almost anything. Yeah, that's true. You just, they don't cancel yeah. stuff. Everything still happens. Picnics, Little League games, like nothing is canceled because of right. rain. You would never do anything. So you just get used to being kind of wet all the time. <laughs> that's that's very true everybody gets used to stuff i mean there are people like there are like es well, i think eskimos is derogatory but like there are like people just in like alaska and like the the planes just snow everywhere just chilling just like yeah it's cold yeah <laughs> like, my wife lived in hawaii i was like isn't it beautiful amazing when because she lived there for three years she was like after a while you're just like eh, you're just nice. there yeah yeah, yeah like same thing with la people are like why aren't you going to the the beach every day and you're like oh yeah after like the first month point. of the moving there Kind of wears off on you. That's Man, a good listen. point. And, and the beaches out here are ass. That's I've, another reason why I don't. It's, a good, it's, it's a good social scene, but if you're going for a beach, it's like it looks like cement water. It's really yeah. bad. It's crazy. <laughs> so cement water. Yes. I've it been out here. Crazy. I've, been out, I've been out here eleven. It'd be eleven years in October. Like all together, I've Man. probably been to the beach less than twenty times. Good. Praise That's crazy. That's There's about the same for me. Stuff. We just do it when people come visit us. We be like, oh, Roscoe's. Oh, Universal City Walk. Oh, when people come like, can we go to Santa Monica Pier? I'm like, oh, man, I don't really want to do man. that. Man, right. the, the park. parking and stuff. Ugh. <laughs> giving, giving people the general LA thing is the worst. It is. Oh. I, I don't wait. I, I, would, I would rather buy somebody, like pay for their car service to take somebody around LA all day <laughs> than me yeah, actually know. doing it. Like, I would rather yeah. just, like, let me just pay. I'll, I'll call George. I'm like, George, can you take them here, 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 and bring them back? Right. I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to be there. Well, we need you for pictures. I can Photoshop myself in. I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> but 
have you ever taken somebody on like an LA tour and did something that you normally wouldn't do because you're here and then it was um, fun? Like a red? Yeah. Red I got up to the like really close to the Hollywood sign once for my niece's 16th birthday. I haven't been able to do it since. And I had already lived here, I want to say for eight years. And that's like the only thing. Everything else, I don't need to do. I don't want to do it. That's common again. though. In a lot, like people, uh, I went to the um, Statue of Liberty in New York, and a lot of my followers who lived in New York was like, "I have never been. I've lived here my whole life, and I have never right. been." Wow. When we lived in Washington, we didn't go to the Space Needle until we were moving from Seattle. Like the last week, we were like, "Maybe we should go to the Space Needle." <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what is that? I, I I have never been inside of the Arch, ever. Wow. What's in those things? You can it's literally. Space, it's just a cool. It's a cool restaurant, and it's it's just like a super cool. It's like view. the three sixty view of the city, Pat. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. I like. Meg, myself. have you been to the Derby? Because I've never been to the Derby. Not at the all. the actual one where the, the horses are yeah. racing or the parties yeah. downtown. Well, no. Uh, well, I've been to the party. That's but the Kentucky derby. Space Needle. The Derby. Yeah, derby. yeah that's our Space Needle. Actually, yep. I've never been to the physical Derby. Neither have I. Does it they have derby? parties surrounding the Kentucky Derby? Yes. Oh, and black, black celebrities. Actual, yes. Black celebrities fly out to go to those really? parties. That's the first Dang. time I ever saw Gabrielle Union. I was like, and boys, uh, uh, Cujo. Th that's Just the only time you go to Kentucky. It. Yeah. I they didn't know do black people was coming up for the derby at all. Yeah. Oh, they be geared too. Every black celebrity. Big there. hats. They had the, the wicker hats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Big straw hats. I ain't never seen no black people when I was watching the Kentucky Derby. Ever. I guess they oh, don't go to the they're derby. They're all like concentrated in like millionaires row, like the rich black people. But the rest right. of us regulars, we don't go there because we ain't trying to pay to stand around and watch these horses race. We get ready for the party at night. They what have a. Exactly is the or why yeah. or, or being around the streets they used to like let the streets be open people just be in their cars yep they have yes. a derby wow. out here too kev they have a really big derby a black derby out here in la it's mm -hmm. a derby mm -hmm. are you what looking up what a derby, derby in los angeles mm -hmm. no i mean i know it's a horse race but what does the actual word derby mean i don't know you know what? In in Premier League oh, soccer, they call their rival the rival games are called or uh, the rival games are called the derbies too, which I don't understand. Yeah, I've, I've heard derby in a couple contexts, so I don't really I think know it what it means. Word. Like a race, like there's roller derby where you like race, oh, yeah. and you push each other. I think it just means a race. Oh, you are correct. It is a race or contest, Both. usually one open to all who wish to enter and offering a prize. So why is the soccer, why is the Premier League soccer called derbies then? Why are we not talking about if we'd rather have free gas or free groceries? Oh my God. Wait, oh, can we connect Pat, this? Pat, try it, Pat. No, yeah. don't even try. We, I, 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 will be, I will be very I mean, impressed if you can put it together. How we got to this topic. Hold on, wait a second. This is, this is a picture from the one from 2019, Kev. This is the LA Derby Day. Oh my God. They get done up, man. It's a whole thing. They do picnics, they take drinks. Okay. It's, it's a whole thing. Derby was Angel and Meg's conversation about being from Kentucky, which came from talking about never being to places that were uh, uh, popular from where you're from. Kev was talking about the Space Needle. Tahir's never been to the Arch. Uh, that all came from we hate doing LA stuff uh, because we're there. That all came from Kev saying, uh, talking about Seattle and the weather. What was the connection though? Oh, it, we were talking. I was talking about my commute to LA to All Deaf, which is Ooh, that was earlier. Though. That, that was, was earlier. earlier though. But yeah. I'm saying, what was the connect from you talking about uh, Seattle weather to us talking about monuments? Oh, you know what? Okay, wait. Oh, we were talking about was it how traffic and people can't drive. Uh, we, no, that, that was still after. earlier. Yeah. So uh, Kev was talking about uh, the weather and not being able to drive. And we was like, I don't like driving. Oh, we were talking about the accidents and- No, 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 that up. was earlier, earlier. I'm, I'm going backwards. Okay, y'all right. wasted too much time. This time it we was just vis not Right, it was not about kidding. visitors, not someone to take visitors places and, uh, because right. of the, 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 what you call not it? Doing, the ocean tears are that. trash. The beaches, it was oh, the beaches. The beaches, the beaches are mm -hmm. trash. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Okay, that was the connection I was I was missing. So oh, oh, oh there it is. Talking about beaches being trash, and then that we were talking about our beaches, and then we were talking about people that don't do stuff that are are popping in their city, which mm -hmm. came from Kev talking about it raining, which came from driving to work, which came which from, came from gas, gas or groceries. That was horrific. Okay. Uh -huh.
It was. It, 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 we're, we are either getting better or worse at staying on topic. <laughs> I don't, I, I think we're, not, we're not getting better yeah. at staying on topic. I'm about to say, is, that better is not an option at all. Yes. Uh, this, <laughs> no, my goal, Rick, my goal yes. life. Who? Who do you ask? Because I was about to answer. Who do you go, go, Angel. Go, Angel. My goal in life is to buy a really big house with a lot of land so that I don't have to leave it. And so I would have no need for gas. I just want the food. And then the quarantine has taught me how much I depend on food for all of my emotions. And uh, <laughs> I don't need no gas. <laughs> That's my on- problem too, Angel. I'm like, man, yeah. I had a terrible day. Ice cream. I had a yes. Yes. Ice cream. My day was just okay. Also ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <better>. no <laughs> it's not even the extreme. It's yeah. Tuesday, ice cream. It's ice Monday, cream. ice cream. It's the weekend. <laughs> I had a great day. Ice cream. Today yes, sucks. <laughs> For all Literally. of my moods, it's happy, mm-hmm. sad, Tuesday, Brother. all of my moods. I need ice cream. Yeah. I, I am right with you, yeah. Angel. And a house full of people, look, if you tell me, Megan, you can have free groceries or free gas, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to pick the groceries every single time because my groceries, I'm going to be like, look, we get lobster tonight. We get king crab legs, Chilean sea bass. Let me I tell you what, the groceries. best thing in life is having friends who are on food stamps because those barbecues are out of this world. There's <laughs> nothing off limits. We done threw lobster on the grill, hey. Chilean sea bass, <laughs> the finest cuts of steak, mm-hmm. all compliments of your state of California or <laughs> state of Washington. Oh, yes. bruh. Memorial Day back in Washington, when half almost all my friends were on the state, bro, you, that grill was like, where did y'all get a rack of lamb? Where's my business grill? <laughs> lamb? The ch- Pat, no lie. My brother used to work for the state, so he made sure everybody was on the hookup. It was amazing. Lamb well, ain't even in my grocery store. I don't even think that's an option. Where do you mm. go? Ralph's. They, they have lamb. Yeah, well, oh my God. They got lamb. What, yes. ground lamb? No, no. I got the lamb chops. Never seen it. Never looked. Never that's looked. Probably, that's probably why you didn't see it. That's Pat, what you going with? What you going you with, know, Pat? Um, you know what's interesting? One thing that I learned about spending money, you know that moment when you spend money and you're either happy or really upset? I, whatever you buy, is, it's all about like how much you can enjoy that. So when you buy gas, it's always just like, man, I can't enjoy gas. Like, you always upset about buying gas, but when you buy groceries, even if it's expensive, you're still like, I get to eat all of this stuff. That's a so- fantastic point. And you know what else, Pat, to add to yours? When you be buying gas, you be going to work a lot of times and you don't want to go to work. You're like, I'm just buying this so I have to go to a place oh, that I don't want to go in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're That's never happy about snacks. buying gas. Yeah. That's why they added snacks. It's a really shitty experience, but they're just That's like. That's why I be eating ice cream. I'm like, I gotta buy gas. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin problems. <laughs> you, when I, back when I was in college, I remember having to call my bank every time and check how much I had in order to buy gas. My happiest moment when I felt like I made it, when I could just fill my tank up without checking and knew I w- there was enough in there. That's comfortable. Mm-hmm. It's Man. a very small victory in life. Like, bro, what's this, $23? Man, nothing <laughs> for you. <laughs> you know how much it takes to fill you up? No, that was when I had my old Honda Civic. Now I got, um... 23? My toy ought to be like 35, 40 bucks. Yeah. Oh, it's been a long time for me to... Now, because we've been in quarantine, it takes a long time for me to have to go get gas. Yeah. yeah. Here's my thing, though. I, both my cars are V8s. So one of them was V8 in a premium, and the other one's a V8 in regular. One you of them... Freak a V8. I was, I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> so this. I'm sorry to hear. I'm not really sorry, but go ahead. I'm, 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 that was good. I like that one. I'm gonna just go groceries. I'm just, I'm just go groceries. <laughs> I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna like, go groceries too. Let's... Wait, even with the V8s to hear? I don't want to tell the story now. <laughs> here by them big yo did i we have i told the story went to here jump me when we went to the axe throwing pat the what the axe throwing and to here had to jump me he jumped you what he like jumped a car, car. battery oh okay. was i there okay. yes we were axe axe throwing. Throwing, but you left to here stayed around my car wouldn't start i had bought a uh uh we had just got a new car and they, it had a weak battery and wow. um, so I got I got my jumper cables, put them to Tahir's car. He had one of them old school, strong engine, and it didn't start. He was like, let me get my cables. I was like, cables are cables. He was like, not these. 
<laughs> these are guaranteed to start. I was like, what's the difference? He's like, he went to this. What was it? The difference to here? The gauge is the width of the gauge, how thick the gauge is. And that's what like, gives you a stronger charge on a, on a battery. He had these little shoestring jumper cables. <laughs> I, got the, I got the like survival pack, you know, came with like jumper cables, a flare, yeah. a little, you know, pack of water to but hear. But they sell to women. They yeah. sound like a woman on them. <laughs> Oh, that's mechanics what, that's absolutely what, treat me like a woman. Abs every time. <laughs> mechanics yeah, absolutely treat that. me like a woman. <laughs> when I tell you, uh, see, here's car, my car almost jumped out of the ground when it got charged. It was like, <laughs> whoa, whoa. It's too much, it's too much juice. The hair wow. makes me feel like I wasn't a real man, though. He was like, you, you are those your jumper cables? <laughs> Yeah, if it makes you feel better, until you told this story, I thought there was one brand of jumper cables my entire life. I thought they, they sold one yellow jumper with the little teeth things. I've only seen one kind. I thought there was one brand. Jumper. No, to be honest, I'd be having to double check which part goes on which. I've clicked them together and, and seen sparks. I don't be knowing manly stuff. If you told me that the brand was named Jumper, and that's why they were called Jumper Cables, and they were just cables, but who made them was Jumpers, I would absolutely believe you. God. Have you never been to jump Jumper over by Jiffy Lube? <laughs> 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 I mean, I thought there was, so I mean, I-, I Terrible. When you, as soon as you said he brought out different kinds of cables, I was like, oh. <laughs> I didn't even know. Well, looks like the uh, the free groceries has it. Uh, we're going to get into this next topic right after this. Going into the second topic, we have, would you, shit. It looks like Tahir was trying to say, would you rather have fame or wealth? But he said Richie Rowe. <laughs> I think he was thinking about, <laughs> I think he just thought he was a, a turntable, just rich, rich, rich. Anyway. A turntable? We're nearly halfway into the episode, and it's his first mistake. Back to you, Todd. It's funnier when the word wasn't even complicated. He tried to say rather. <laughs> I was thinking of how to word it correctly, because I Would just you said- Would you Would you <laughs> All right, getting into the second topic. Would you rather have fame or fortune? <laughs> oh, it's another easy one. Fame, uh, excuse me, fortune, because having fame and being broke sounds like a nightmare. But and if you're famous, the, that's the half the people on Instagram. Right. Here's that's the thing, my biggest though. fear. Biggest fear. If, you, if, if you're famous, they give you stuff for free. You don't even need the fortune. Nigga, I don't want a shirt to promote your brand. I want money. I want rent. <laughs> <laughs> I want rent. I want money. I mean, no, see, here does have a point. They they will give you vacations if you're famous. Like uh, they the won't pay your mortgage and... though, Meg. You can stand up. Give you a house. But I, that this is why I feel like Kardashian's lives are lit as fuck. The builders might be like, hey, you have a million followers. <laughs> they are not. Meg is drunk. Meg is drunk. This house because I, I couldn't go to the more people like, hey, I'm an influencer. Shut up. Get out of here. We said no. Scare huh? you. Get out of here. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> <laughs> You were trying to fill out the application. Ah, 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 that's not for you. <laughs> and I'm an influencer. You need to influence somebody else to buy this house. They got a broom. Get out. Get, get, get out of here. Get out of here. That's the worst. Somebody stabbing their foot at you. Get. 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 Like a <laughs> like you're just a, a, a an alley cat. Get out of here, you influencer. Like just the vibration of the stomp is enough to make you scatter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, influencers, they took a, listen, I low-key don't even want to be an influencer. I don't want to be categorized. Influencers had a terrible weekend. This Ooh. past week with the George Floyd stuff, boy, people was not Ooh. saying the right thing. Twitter was lighting people up yeah. left and right. Yeah. I'm then, talking about you're better off saying nothing. If you don't know what to say, just be quiet. And it didn't, it didn't stop this weekend. It, something else happened this, uh, today. What was the chick's name? Um... Damn, what was her name? I can't even think. I don't listen to it. But she had to go on an apology tour, too, because she said something super insensitive about Floyd George. Like, I mean, uh, George Floyd. George like, it just, yeah. Uh, what, what was... Damn, hey, Tom, I, I know this was recent, but uh, to hear mix the name up, we, we're going to charge it to his head, not to his heart. <laughs> he was thinking of Floyd Mayweather and George Foreman. <laughs> he, he loves George Foreman grills. That's kind of why he got confused. Anyway, back to you, Todd. Now he's going to pretty much be on a roll. <laughs> Once he starts, he can't stop. 
You know what's crazy? I feel like influencers are so trained to think something and post it that they don't know how to just think something and just think that. Oh, like, absolutely. Pat, that is so true. It's crazy. Like, and why they can't feel you feel like they have to? Oh, it's a trending topic. I, I have to listen. The thing is, you say the wrong thing and people be off you forever. Damn. Forever. Really no. true. Even if what you think is true, it's just like if it comes at the wrong time and people ain't trying to hear that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like for me, I personally think that the whole, like, I'm not, I mean, we don't even have to go there. <laughs> I'm just talking about it. I'm just, I'm just going to think that and not say it. <laughs> Listen, Tahir said this before. I think it was Tahir. He said, some things are for the internet. Some things are for the group chat. Some things are just supposed to be said to your close friends. Some things should be never be said at all. I like the problem that. is when your job is on the line, online, you think you need to say it all and post it all. Uh -huh. yes. And it don't, it don't be that. No, no, it do not be that. Tokyo Jets. That's what it was. Tokyo Jets made uh, a, a super Wait, bad joke about George Floyd. And she immediately came out with the apology tour because she knew she had messed up. And she was trying was to joke. I, I think she was like, it's a video of her like, like choking somebody or acting like she ch choking somebody, oh, and I guess she God. said something about it. But like this just happened, I think like today, and it's just like, what Bad is? Timing. Why would you think that's okay? Like, why would you ever think that's okay? That's why wealth is so much more important because they're especially in LA, you could be a script doctor, and these people are people who fix scripts, and and it's of like say Angel is the script doctor and and Tahir is the famous script writer. Say we hired Tahir more to write this, but he messed it up. They'll pay people like Angel three hundred thousand dollars to fix this script, and they won't even be credited. Like it's their her job is to be hidden, and these people getting cashed out to fix scripts from from famous writers, and script they'll be doctors? completely script doctors and you would never know them ever and they are filthy rich and you wouldn't you wow. wouldn't know one from another so there are famous writers that low-key aren't the best writers that be turning in scripts thinking they the shit do they know that it was doctored the original writer oh yeah they, 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 they yeah. see the movie they be like wait a minute that's not, <laughs> that's not what i wrote no batman was supposed to die <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's when you find out you're not as good of a writer as you thought you watch that man was supposed to die. <laughs> I, that's what I'm I'd rather be important, not famous. Because you, first of all, I can't hand off fame. Like I can't hand off fame to my children. Okay, they can't uh -oh. eat off of that, but they can eat off this generation. That's not true at all. Kardashians. That's all I'm saying. Kardashians. Okay. Okay, but what I'm saying. No, no, but, but her wealthy, point still stands. Well those, all wealthy. those Kardashians are still famous for being. Those are all. They're all individually famous. You haven't seen the children be famous yet. Right. And I'm saying they are very wealthy, so they have that to pass on to the kids. I'm saying if you, there's many celebrities we know, and we know who their kids are, but your kids can't eat off of that. They have to eat, they need actual cash money. I, mean, I, 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 I think that, that celebrity affords them some type of leverage of us believing that they're capable of doing whatever they're trying to do. Like, like we gave Jaden a chance just because he was Will's son. Like if we, he had been somebody else's son, we wouldn't have probably been so inviting into our hearts, into our lives. But because he was Will Smith's son, I was like, yeah, this guy gets it. Yeah, we like him. Change your hair. And then we started to see that he he actually proved that he was worth it. So, all right, guys, what I'm going to get up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that was a good point. That's a good point. Nah, because Meg was like, you can't leave fame to your kids. I'm like, that's not necessarily true. No, I'm saying for them to eat off of, like, he, he even still, let's say his parents passed away, like, he still got to come with something. He needs something in order to pay his bills and eat. Maybe? He has to know who he is. Yeah, that's what, um, my whole point is, what can you pass on to your children that, that they can benefit from greatly? What's more important? Well, Jaden was wealthy. handed both. So that's a bad exactly. thing. So it's hard to say, you know? I feel like you can live off You're of wealth, angle. you can't live off of fame. You just can't live off of fame. Some people tried and it, and it ended up really, really bad. And I feel like fame isn't enjoyable without wealth, although wealth is enjoyable without fame. Yeah. That's Angel, you're muted. You're muted, Angel. You're muted, Angel. Angel, Angel we can hear you. Hear you. Damn, ain't, Kev, you type fast as hell. Yeah. Uh, yes, it sounds like you are on a spaceship in in. in sounds in like to SpaceX. Is it? Bacon? No. You sound like you're cooking bacon. 
<laughs> it's always food with you, Kevin. Always food. Is it better now? Is it oh, still yeah. going? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. All I did was kept unplugging and plugging it back in. I was about to say, you can live off of fame if you're an opportunist, kind of, sort of. Like, you have to, like, take every opportunity to be able to, like, get your needs met. But I don't want for my actions, I don't want to be held accountable for every single one of my actions. And I think that's what comes with fame is like, you can't make no mistakes without somebody saying something where if you just yeah. got money and no fame, you could be messing up left and right. And don't nobody care. So, so Angel, you want to think crime to not be held accountable? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Angel, <laughs> when you say uh, fame, you just have to be an opportunist and take every advantage. You're basically saying like using your fame to like book multiple things and make money, right? No, using your fame to get what you need. If, if, if it's not monetary, cause you can't have money in this scenario, you using your fame to be like, bet, I need a place to stay. So I'm gonna try to book out all these hotels for the whole year and promote these hotels so I have a place to live or- yeah. well, I don't know if the scenario means you can't have money. So I think that begs a bigger question that I wanna ask. What do you, like, at what level do you think that money turns into wealth? Like, what do you guys think that that number value is? I don't, I don't know think that it's, it's a number. Actually a, it's not a number. I think wealth to me is something that you can distribute, redistribute to your, to your children or your children's children. Okay. The more you have of uh, assets to distribute, then you're distributing wealth. That's why the first wealth distribution wasn't money. It was land and homes. Like, that was the first leg up. That, that white people had over black people is the value of the homes and land. The fact that they didn't have to buy a new mortgage and that house is paid off. That, and then generally homes just continue to rise in, in value. That's the distribution of wealth. And then you can you know borrow off that home and now you have actual home and, and wealth. And you can invest in that, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's wealth, you can distribute that. You're I think, saying that you can have wealth without necessarily being rich. I think you mean. I think rich and and wealthy are 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 not the same. I mm -hmm. think interchangeable. I think wealth is when you can live off of your money, making money for itself mm -hmm. without. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. so, depending on where you decide your means of living it is, you could potentially not be rich but be wealthy because your money is making money for itself and you're able to live within it. That's for me. That's what with wealth is. It might not be everybody else's. But. I think I think that I think that's that's true. Ada. I think it's uh, one. I think it also determines depends on the lifestyle that you live. But yeah. piggybacking off of what Angel said, I think a lot of rappers are rich, but they're not wealthy. Wealthy would be like Bill Gates. It would be like um, um, what's the guy that created Facebook? Oh, Zuckerberg. Uh, yeah, Zuckerberg. Like that's he, he has he has you know Facebook, he has Instagram, he has WhatsApp, and he has all of this money that's gonna keep making money for him. Hey, what's that? Yeah, Facebook they owns WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Oh, they yeah. they owned it, but they don't they, they bought it. Okay. They bought it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they that's so, why Facebook never goes away because they just buy the companies that would be their competitors. That's funny. I feel like Tahir's way or version of wealth is what uh is pushed the most in culture. Like there's rich and then if the, the super version of that is is wealth but after hearing you guys talk i feel like there is a way to be wealthy without necessarily being rich mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah yeah it doesn't necessarily depend on the the liquid cash that you have like i think rich is more associated with liquid cash like i, I i'm i got four million in the bank that's that's rich huh. but if you have like 40 million in assets that can still be wealthy like you got 40 million in assets like uh property and land like you don't if you don't have to sell that you can have that forever and it's only going to yeah. appreciate so that's that's what wealth looks like versus this money that these a lot of rappers have and they're just spending um, frivolously on trips and, and jewelry and cars and condos instead of homes, things like that. So, And a lot yeah. of times rappers just have <clears throat> what I call flash in the pan cash. Like they made a lot of money at once, but they don't necessarily, they don't have the propensity to make that much money moving forward. You know right. what I'm saying? So like if you make a lot of money touring and, and right now you can't tour, you can't make no money. You don't own your publishing or your royalties. You can't sell merch. You actually aren't making that much money at all. And a lot of times uh, people have a lot of income, but a lot of outgo. So you might be, you make 10 million a year and you spend, you know, 9.5 million. You didn't really make that much money. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, you had a lot of revenue, but not a lot of profit. And I think there's uh, a difference. 
All right, so let's let's tally it up. What are we looking like? I would take wealth before fame any day. Okay. Pat. Give me the money. Okay. Meg? Fula over fame. Pat? Wealth every single time. Yeah, I'm going to go wealth. I think that was an easy choice, but I just had to fight for the other side just to make it – worthwhile but yeah wealth all day absolutely I, I know a lot of people that'll be like i don't care if people never see my face if i got the money like they don't you, you don't care like a lot of wealthy people don't dress like they're wealthy either you still, a lot of times they do it just people don't know that that stuff costs a lot of money the tommy yeah. bahama shirts tommy yeah, bahama that, shirts are like 300 dollars, bro that's why i hate that and little bit like gucci and off-white and jordan and stuff and mark zuckerberg bro them shirts they be buying be 800 dollars. you think they're going to target and buying goodfellow they are not <laughs> plus they're not in that culture that makes no sense do you see any gucci belts or do-rags no they're white men <laughs> <laughs> but look at their yacht collection though the yachts is the jordans for rich people they be yeah. still stunting on people well, don't are the rolexes they're oh, white. Yeah. like frivolous stuff we can only afford or Jordan, so that's as far as we can stunt. Right. Did y'all did y'all see uh, how Virgil uh, oh, donated like fifty dollars? Okay. I posted something people, about that. Today. People was like, "Fam, <laughs> just <laughs> don't post it." Virgil is an idiot. Why would you even? <laughs> First of all, the dude he was mad about, he was like, y'all destroying this man's store. He worked hard. The dude was like, actually, man, it's cool. Destroy my store. What y'all are fighting for is more important. And Virgil was like, right? what? Oh, well, man, here's $50. Like, do you know, Virgil has off-white and he's the head of uh, something about Gucci. He's the head of uh, Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Is it like men's fashion or something, Louis Vuitton? I think he's a creative director, I think. Creative director, I think. Wait, Kev, you said this, the first, this isn't the first time he was in headlines? He protested this? Earlier, before no, no, this is the first time he's been in headlines to me negatively. I, I didn't hear anything negative about him before. Oh, wait, I thought you said he was bashing the looters and Target and stuff. Oh, this was all this weekend. This all happened this this weekend that he did all this. But the first time I heard about him was the $50. That's what you, so you know, yeah. what I'm not surprised because I'm off white folks right after that. Okay, oh, I didn't I'm hear ain't nothing, they ain't nothing but a regular white shirt that says off white on it. Mm -hmm. And a different color shirts that ain't white or they're black or whatever. Listen, I don't like it. It's somebody ugly changed, and it's overpriced. They changed his wiki page and it says Virgil Cheap Ass. Cheap Ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nickname, middle name. That's funny. I didn't know. I didn't know he also was uh, talking about looters. That makes this situation way worse. Bro, you know how many pe regular people who are not filthy rich have $50. If you're a celebrity, part of your thing, so, okay, here's how I've been thinking about this because I wasn't able to protest because one day I had to move out of my apartment, my, I mean, my old house. The next day I had the conference, right? And then I was thinking there's so many ways to help. If you're a person of means, then your money is what the movement needs. You got money, bro. If you can't go and protest, you got to have the money. You got to be able to put up like, okay, y'all ain't got the bread. I got the bread. $50 is what the average person on the street, Virgil, you know, you don't even sell stuff for $50. Wait, How are wait, you giving $50? Wait, wait, wait. First of all, he's not American, correct? I don't know. I, I don't think Virgil's American. I, I'm, I'm not sure if he is, but if let's say he isn't, that's kind of understandable. He doesn't understand the culture here, even though he's black, because there's Black people are you different. You don't understand the culture. He's eating. He's, I, I, he's I, been I, here yeah. long enough. He's been he here long enough. From, he's from he Illinois. From, he's yeah, from I'm Illinois. To say, and he's from Illinois. He's from Rockford, Illinois. <laughs> he yeah. knows what's happening. Never mind. He runs a streetwear company. You can't <laughs> succeed running a streetwear company if you don't know the culture. Yes, you absolutely can, Patrick. Wow. Th that has nothing to do with it. Marketing what are you talking is talking about the niggas who run Supreme are white boys. They know the culture back and forth. That's are how they're they white. Yes. Supreme? Yeah. Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. He, you they act like he, he works they... by himself, and that's why he has to know the culture. No, he got a whole entire team. And for and this this proves to me he don't know the culture because for you to sit here and be like the looters, why would y'all do this and then give fifty dollars to the cause? Let me understand you know nothing about the culture. No, he might know the culture and he just might be a dick. Like that could also be like the, a combination of the two of knowing and just not caring and being an ass about it and being like I'm gonna give fifty dollars knowing, <laughs> well knowing he got way more than he could give. The more I'm the most offensive part. 
was that he challenged other celebrities. He was like, I challenge you to match this $50. Like he tagged other people. Like I, 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 I challenge you guys to match this. Did interview. he really? I missed that part. I, I didn't see that. In this and and some like, people are defending him saying that it might be like a price that he can challenge like uh, the everyday people as opposed to like his rich friends. But then like Kev said, like everybody plays a position. It's like chess. So if you can't protest, then you gotta like, you should fund. So you should be reaching out to your rich friends, not the people who can just like barely. Bro, I've seen the rich people like, I'm giving 25,000, 25. I've seen like Halsey, who I thought it was uh, Haley from Paramore, but it was a totally different person. She <laughs> gave 25,000 to like eight different groups in one day. That's, Chrissy, the type of, that's what Virgil has to do. Chrissy yeah. Teigen donated $200,000 to the people that have been arrested, like for bail money. Yeah, for, yep. Seth Rogen and um, Steve Carell said that they would pay bail for any, like, a certain amount of protesters. So it's like yeah. the, the people who aren't really, like, on the front line, front lines are still, like... You got to bankroll the front line. You either yeah. got to pay for them to get out of jail or, or put some on it. Put yeah. some on it. <laughs> and you got to put some on it. Especially Virgil, you, your whole business was selling, you know, high-priced stuff to these people that's out there protesting. This is $85 your face masks. Oh, come on. Somebody was like, you should have just donated one of your $125 keychains instead of that cash app. All right. We're going to move on to. being that much of a dick, though, <laughs> to your own audience. $85 for this face mask. And, and it, no extra protection. It's just a golden the on it. We're going to move on to this next topic. All right. Last and final topic of the day. We have Taco Bell. Versus Chipotle. Did <laughs> <laughs> he unzipped it? It was like, let me tell y'all what. I ain't gonna put this in the final edit. But these titties out here, tedious. Hey. <laughs> y'all are so mean. Tell the audience what you just did to hear. Them titties was sweating. No one to hear. So I have a, I have on a posture corrected, but I don't have on a t-shirt. So I was un. I was loosening it up when they said I was. <laughs> no, extra bra. Yeah, it's actually, it's posture right corrector. Hey, man. Otherwise known as a bra. Tia, you got a, wait, you have a tattoo that's across your chest? Like every yeah. stripper? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you say like what? Like every stripper. Like, and my lower back and my inner thigh. All of are, them. Are you a stri have you been a stripper your past life? You really got Meg, that, that That tattoo is just a rep the recipe for lemon pepper marinade. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't never want to forget this. All right, two parts lemon pepper, <laughs> some Worcestershire sauce. I'll be saying, I'll be saying the drum. <laughs> Take no, the drums and just rub it across my chest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, how do you pronounce Worcestershire sauce? I'm not even going to try that shit. <laughs> Worcestershire. Is it Worcestershire? Worcestershire? It's Worcestershire. It's Worcestershire. Worcestershire. It's Worcestershire. Oh, okay. Last I time I, enough to know it. Last time I tried, they had to bring out the defibrillator. I messed up so. <laughs> I, Choked on your tongue they, and died. They, they just put the defibrillator on your tongue, though. To hear how scripture added on him from the Fat Bible. <laughs> it's it's a pork by pork. <laughs> 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 oh man let me say man i got up this morning and i just was in like didn't have the energy to do this today man and after today i mean after right now I, um i hate myself a little bit more so thank you guys <laughs> you hate yourself a little more <laughs> hate myself a little bit more so thank you guys oh, so much. Anything we can do to help you <laughs> here's gum to teeth ratio is so off man it's Unfair. so much gum when you smile your gum's like man we all up in here too show <laughs> us the thing I, 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 can't, I can't change that. I can't well, change that. Well, no, that's that. that's not true. Your teeth are throwing a protest right now. They mean that they <laughs> just, and they're flashing at the middle. They're like, we will overcome. Gum <laughs> lies matter. Gum lies matter. <laughs> Why? Here's gums, just... be, here's gums be throwing tear gas at his teeth. See, <laughs> 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 here's gums have riot shields. <laughs> Ah! I know the people at home like fight back to him like I can't I just came today. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear. Did he it's, don't have big teeth. His top lip just He doesn't. Small. His gums are just bullying them. They're like, man, shut up. Scoot down. Scoot down. We want to be in there too. 
Like, my gums looked at my teeth was like, we take all the pictures now. <laughs> what to be in the pictures? It was like, <laughs> pictures? This whole time he was smiling and leaving us out? Hang on. Hang on. And you don't, you don't know what it until I smile. What when up, I, y'all? <laughs> I'm in this bitch, too. To here's, to here's gums are Diddy. His teeth are the music video. They're like, man. Oh, man. And you don't you don't know it until I smile. It's not until I smile. When I'm talking, you don't know it. When I start smiling, it's like <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> oh my god. Kev said his gums were like Diddy. That's hilarious. Oh yeah. Funny, bro. It literally just unfolds yeah. right in front of your eyes. Oh, for That's here. Sorry. I, was, I, I had it all my life. It is I'm sorry, it Angel. Is. I know all of that was against your spirit. I was like, oh, they're here. I know. You're I wanted to like, save oh, you, buddy. Here. I couldn't I mean, save you. Angel Listen. and Meg are black moms. They, wanted, they just want to pat you on the back until you burp. It's a thing. Join it's, in, it's, Angel. It's, join in. In that, in that situation, like you literally have to doughboy it and join in on the fun. Because if you try to <laughs> fight it, those jokes I mean, it just were too gets good. worse. Yeah, the, the jokes were too good. If, if some of them had flopped, but man, it was just right, let me get in on this. Yeah, my girls, right? Ugh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> he gonna cry when this zoom go off. Oh, absolutely. I'm holding it back right now. <laughs> I'm wearing glasses. All right, guys, I'm to hear more. I'll see you guys later. Uh <laughs> leave me. <in> <laughs> <laughs> so here, you, your screen's still on. Huh? Oh no, this is a better zoom. This is a cry zoom. I just want to make people feel comfortable. <laughs> You're gonna be on crying with the homies tonight at nine. <laughs> Yo. I'm gonna drop a, a poem called "I Am Not My Gums." <laughs> <laughs> you intrude upon my teeth. <laughs> You make sure I can't be seen. You are my gum. It's not right how you take over. Red Rover, Red Rover. So the thing I like about Taco Bell, the thing, the thing I, the thing I like about Taco Bell is that you got so many options. Oh my god! And, that, and here got a song with India Ari coming out called "Don't Touch My Gums." <laughs> <laughs> How are we still going? I thought, I thought we were push done. Push me here. Push me. <laughs> but it's so funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> he, got, he got Solange. Don't touch my gun. He did have the wrong artist, though. He did, though. He said Indy Irene. Right. Indy Irene oh, said, she, oh, Indy she had, don't touch my hair. She had, don't touch no, my hair. Don't no, she no. had, I, I am, am my not hair. my hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I was Solange like, oh, was, don't yeah. touch my hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he almost here, when me. you go to the dentist, do they be like, wow. <laughs> wow. Never hey, wow. I ain't seen this in school. I seen this one time in a textbook, but I, <laughs> bro, I hey, come here. Come here. Hey, call everybody in here. Smile again, bro. They had, they, had to, they had to call house. House comes in with the cane. <laughs> oh, let's see what we got here. Like, hold, on, get, hold up, smile again, bro. Dang, that is crazy. Smile again. <laughs> hey, dentists be bringing out a baby drill. They'd be like, all right. <laughs> all right, let's let's get the vote going. Uh, talk about let your vote <laughs> I haven't used this in a long time. <laughs> Meg, Meg, what say you? <laughs> he said, come on. He got to get the tools from an Easy Bake Oven. Like, no, get this. No, no. Do they always do this to you? Do they always Open the Easy Bake Oven. You? There's a screwdriver I left in the oven part. Open it up. All right. So, Meg, you say Chipotle. What about you, Angel? What you say? Chipotle. OK. I'm going to I'm gonna go to Taco Bell because I got Baja Blast. Oh. Hey, what you say? <laughs> They still give up him toys after his Okay, talk about great. Uh, Kev, hey, Kev, Kev, here's some Kev, you, vampire tea. Kev, what you got? <laughs> Just cover them other shits up. Be a vampire today. Woo! Okay, cool. All right, well, it looks like Taco Bell have it, guys. Uh, thank you so much I for watching another. I really want to do this one. Thanks you so much for watching another episode of Squadcast. I appreciate it. Keep sending your suggestions in to my inbox and we're going to keep doing it and we will see you next week on another episode. Oh, I want to hear this one.